What's going on YouTube? It's been a long, long time. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded, I think I will only uploaded one video last year and this is my first one this year. Um, obviously what's, with what's going on around the world right now, um, just you know, I, obviously people are going to have a lot more free time on their hands. I've been stuck at home for about a week and will be uh, um, continuing to do so for another, I don't know, probably at least two more weeks. So this is uncertain times, I just hope everybody uh, be safe and just take care of all of yourselves. Um, so I'm going to do a little update today uh, with uh, some of my younger animals. I did change uh, a decent amount around here as far as my animals goes. I sold off some of my adult stock to make room for uh, um, some adults and uh, the boys that was born actually here. So I'll probably start with the 2019s and maybe go up to 2017-16s depending on how much time um, I have today uh, to make a video. So, you know, everything's okay in my room. So I haven't added any more cages. I'm trying to maintain the level of the animals I have uh, quantity-wise uh, with this setup. So, I mean, I still have a focus over there. It was all my baby racks that I still have animals from 2018 and last year, 19, that I still need to sell. Uh, I'll probably do that once, whether I'll permit this year. The V70 rack here for the uh, small adults, uh, males, and the uh, grow, uh, grow, grow ups here. So, that's my room reptile room and most of you have been following me here in YouTube that you know there's a lot of changes that happen in my basement most of the stuff this stuff down here was mainly for my kids but uh, they're all teenagers now so this whole basement is pretty much my sanctuary my workout station my rowing machine and just my one man seat with uh, my audio video equipment down here and a lot of you guys know if you've been following me that I'm also a big audio video uh, fanatic. I have a pretty decent setup upstairs too. Alright so I'll start taking some animals out and see how this video goes. Alright so let's start with this one. This is my uh, 2019 Shark Junglo. I wasn't going to keep her because um, from the previous same pairing, I kept the male jungle from that litter as well. But, you know, this one has a great contrast and amazing color. This is a, another keeper, a uh, little mate to the one I just showed you before. This one is just the, without the high bell, just a sharp jungle. But great pattern. It's not much color like the other one, but it's super clean. I mean, I do have a lot of jungles in my collection, but it's my favorite morph. Here's uh, one of the animals uh, from 2019 that I'm gonna be selling once the weather permits. So it's a paradigm, um, possible jungle because of this aberrancy and also the tail, but not 100%, so I won't be labeling as jungle. Right, here's my uh, BCC Suriname litter that I had last year, 2019. Um, 
I mean, if you guys have been following me for a while on my channel that, you know, Siri, um, BCC is one of my favorites. Um, I, I said before that if I started this hobby over that I'll probably have more pieces in my collection. Nothing against the morphs, but something about these true red tails. It's just amazing. Look at, look at that tail. Unbelievable. So, I mean, it was a small litter. Uh, the mom was a 2012, so when I bred her, she was already six, six years old. Um, most likely, you guys know that BCC, they tend to take longer to uh, reach maturity. Because I had a small litter of only uh, eight, so I'm keeping two. But this, this guy's got great pattern. Look at those peaks. All right, then this is the uh, female that I decided to uh, keep from the Suriname uh, pairing. She's got peaks just like the mother. Mother is a uh, mega peak line, so she's got huge peaks. And just look at that tail. So, as I was saying before, the mother was a 2012 and father is Tomiko, Fudo line was a 2011. But, um, you know, I started breeding, I kept, kept boils since 2010 and started breeding at 2013. And uh, when I paired this uh, Suriname pair, it was definitely my most anticipated pairing since I've been keeping boas. Beautiful animal. Here's one of the females that I have available from the Suriname litter. This one's very interesting because instead of those peaks, it's got these almost like floating saddles, which is very interesting. This is one of the animals I acquired last year. This is a 2019 um, Carl Strain albino leopard. It's a, it's a male. This one's got beautiful, beautiful side pattern. I don't know if that's coming out of the camera or not. And the beautiful belly. Here's an IMG 100% head for BP, VPI T positive. This is a beautiful animal. IMG is probably one of the uh, hottest morph in the market right now. He just came out of shed, so he's looking really good. I mean, you know, this guy will you know, eventually turn uh, uh, mostly black and some people don't think that's all that attractive. But when you combine this with the uh, other VPI gene, they make phenomenal combos and they look amazing too. So, you know, he'll get his chance in a couple of years because it's 2019. Um, hoping I can make some uh, jungle IMG VPIT positive. Here is our 2019 IMG 100% head for shop albino. It's a male also, and he's actually 
much darker than the uh, head VPI. I don't know if you guys tell in the video, but these uh, IMGs are actually uh, bigger than the other 2019s. It's due to the fact that they were born at least, uh, I believe, like three, four months earlier than my, my other animals I showed you. But shelf albino combination with the IMGs look fantastic too. So we shall see. Here's uh, my keeper female from 2018 litter. Uh, this is a jungle head squirt tail. The pairing was the uh, amazing squirt tail male and one of my best jungles that I have in my collection. I mean, my lighting, it might be too bright right now because I'm shooting inside, but this girl has amazing colors. Just can't see it. I love this classic jungle pattern too. Here's the uh, male, the 2018 jungle, also 100% have a square tail. I wanted to keep at least one male, one female, but I ended up holding two females from the litter. But beautiful animal. Look at that tail. And I definitely think uh, square tail uh, gene is underrated. I mean, it's also hard to find uh, quality ones too, but you know, the pair I have pure square tails, I'm going to be pairing them end of this year and looking forward to see what the outcome will be from that litter. Just love the even pattern on this guy. Here's the other female I held back. This is also the 2018 Jungle Hat Square Tail. Um, but her pattern is very different. She's... It's more, much more contrast, uh, has much more contrast than the other two that I just showed you. And her color is not showing up in this light, but this, she probably has the best color too. It's a 2018 uh, red pastel sharp albino male acquired early last year. It's, I need to do an outdoor footage of this guy. His, his colors is just so orange, it's unbelievable being an albino. Look at that color, unbelievable. I did a trade to acquire this animal early last year. I'm very happy with it. Here's my 2018 uh, Jungle Bull Woman Caramel BWC. I was gonna take him out since he's he's in shed. Doesn't look that great right now, but just got him out for the for the video. So a very classic pattern on this guy and very nice tail. 
But again, he's not looking at his best due to being in shed. Here's my keeper from my 2017 litter. This is the male sharp junglo. So I mentioned the very first uh, animal that you guys saw that I was gonna be thinking about keeping in the jungle, but that's a female. This is a male, so I decided to hold on, get hold on to that girl. I mean, he he's uh, calling out very nicely, and his pattern is pretty cool too. <laughs> I don't know how many jungles I've been showing you guys, but I just love this morph. Um, I have a lot of non-jungles in my adults and stuff so when I do an update on that you guys can see but beautiful color on this guy here's my 2017 keeper female this is a jungle Power glow. And she doesn't have the like the barren pattern, but I gave I kept her because there's uh, the classic look and the uh, she's got overall really good hypercoloration. I'll probably try her when time comes with that uh, IMG head sharp boy. Color on the side. Yeah, it's too dark. And she's very finicky and not cooperating as usual. Here's my 2017 VPI T positive Motley girl. I had a lot, a lot of Motleys before, but now we have two. Uh, this one and another one, oh, one of the girls that was born here, Sungo Mappi, from 2015. But this one has beautiful colors, and I uh, love the way you can't see it on the camera, but it's got those pink highlights. Here's my 2016 Suriname. This is from uh, Mega Peak and uh, Florida, Florida Retail line. I mean, they do these uh, series do have different lines, just like some of the morphs do, like the lipstick line and whatnot. But this one's a beautiful animal. Again, you know, you guys who keep morphs, you know, this will be pretty small for 2016 male, but he's in perfect shape. I'll probably try him with my Mega Peak uh, girl that would give me a little last year, maybe next year. Beautiful color. All right, I'm gonna end it with this guy here. This is a, a 2016 BCC um, Pokegron uh, Suriname. He probably has the most best tail out of all my uh, series. But you know, this is a 2016, but it's only eating uh, small rats every two weeks. But it's in perfect shape, great girth. Beautiful animal. Just look at this tail. Alright, All right, so that, this was a long video. I think it was over 20 minutes now. But uh, I'll try to do an update uh, if time allows with my uh, some of the adult uh, animals. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.